Na kuwaja tuwa nguvu, mina ito presenta Ali or Entertainment PA, the A is always for amazing siku zote. Natia bidi kwa kikisha kwa manakuletia stories, tofauti. And of course, today I'm joined by the CEO and founder, BM Forex Hub. Of course, we've had many stories, many success stories, the influencers and people in the Forex industry. But this one is going to be quite different. So guys, stay tuned. And uh, today we are with BM. We know BM when you right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is BM. BM in a mansion. So BM is purely an uh, abbreviation of uh, my name. Okay. That okay. is uh, Boneface Masete. Okay. So I took a B from Boneface mm -hmm. and M from Masete. Yeah. So to make a, a brand. So the BM is purely my, my yeah. name. Yeah. This is the first uh, Forex hub that I've personally interacted with you 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 teach students you train students about forex but then i just want to know where did it all began and when when was it uh personally you know i've just been hustling like any other person on this street for quite some time yes. after being a student uh, at Mo university mm -hmm. so i had gone to the street to to look for hustle just like any other person mm -hmm. so i've done sales for quite some times so i've also been employed uh, but I was really interested in Forex, just like any other person. Yes. yes. But now my biggest problem was to get uh, the best uh, source company or a person who can be able to educate me about Forex. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's why I struggled for several time, but I ended up getting uh, the right person to teach me that. And uh, this guy is all the way from Malaysia. Okay. He's not a Kenyan. Okay. All the way from Malaysia is known as what you call uh, a gold hunter, mm -hmm. Tokmat. So Tokmat is the top trader in uh, in Malaysia. So he's the guy who taught me forex. Wow. Yes, he learned from the best in Malaysia. Yeah, you know now the the biggest challenge was by that time I was not seeing anyone serious in Kenya talking about forex. Mm -hmm. So it was tough because this person talks in Malay. Okay. Then he sends you vi uh, what you call informations in Malay. You have to convert it to uh, to, to 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 English. Yes. So we are using an application known as Nicegram. It's an advance of Telegram. Mm -hmm. So we are using that application to be able to translate it to uh, to to English, so that I can be able to 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 to, to get the concept. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he taught me forex for six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he was so busy. I was doing it within a period of like. Uh, two sessions a month yeah. then he gives you a whole notes mm -hmm. so you have to go through the notes and also do your own research mm -hmm. yep uh, that is around uh, four years ago wow yeah. not, not quite a while not sana. but then i would also ask uh, why forex because you see many people uh, they they train to be many thi different things you know policemen doctors crypto traders but why forex for you yeah. Now, in first case, just like, uh, you know, we always do research every single day. And uh, I realize you always want to be participating in the, uh, in the best project or the best opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I think like right now in the current economy, uh, Forex trading stands out uh, because it just need knowledge and a capital that you can be able to grow organically. You understand that? Mm -hmm. So like, let's say, for example, somebody today wants to learn Forex. Mm -hmm. Maybe the expenses you will spend mm -hmm. is on the learning part. Mm -hmm. But continuing there, once you have the skill, mm -hmm. it's something that can be able to be, to be transferred to the next generation. So it's a skill. Somebody cannot take away from me. It's a skill that can give me money. Yeah. So as long as I have my phone, I have my laptop, mm -hmm. I'm capable of making money. Yeah. So I can say... Um, People should dwell more on the advanced technology like this one of Forex because it's a skill. It's not a job. It's, it's a skill. Anywhere. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. It will always be there. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's you to determine how much amount of money you want to make. Yeah. yeah. Most Kenyans nowadays, I mean, they see the word uh, Forex, they see the word crypto. You know, and the first thing that comes to their mind is like, whoa, I don't want to get into that. Uh, maybe I'm going to be scammed. Maybe. It's a, a get-rich-quick scheme. What would you tell them uh, the truth or the reality on Forex? Is it a get-quick-rich scheme? So Forex trading, first of all, people need to understand that there are two things involved here. Just because somebody has mentioned Forex, you need to know there are two things involved. Yes. There's what you call Forex investment yes. and Forex trading. So most platforms, and so many people have taken advantage of Kenyans and people in East Africa mm -hmm. on those issues of forex investment. Yes. So they are coming in with platforms with an intention of taking people's money, yes. you know. But I can tell you for free, um, there's nobody who will ever be interested in making you successful by taking your money and multiply it for you. Yes. 
they always do all that for their own adva advantage. Yes. You're getting that? Yes. So learning Forex and trading Forex by yourself is totally different than investing on an investment company. So people are used to the mindset of investing in Forex. But they are not used now to trading Forex. So once you mention anything related to Forex, they always think you are talking about a specific investment company. Oh, amazing. I think, I think that's quite insightful. But now, let's now talk about BM Forex Hub. At what point did you decide that now I want to open up a Forex Hub, I want to teach people, I want to train people about Forex, and uh, when was this? Uh, like I mentioned earlier, so so far I have four years experience in Forex trading. So the first two years I've just been doing it uh, personally for my own benefit. Mm -hmm. But um, early last year, uh, early last year, I definitely realized that uh, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a Forex gap. There's a gap of people getting this information about Forex. If you check a place like South Africa, mm -hmm. uh, Forex is everywhere. The, 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 the concept of Forex, the awareness is everywhere in a place like South Africa. So everybody knows that they can be able to do this in Forex and that. But now here in Kenya, so many people are get used to Forex investment. They are not learning the Forex itself. So I thought of why not teaching people how to do it and how they can also benefit from it. Because at some point, it's not, it's not, about, uh, it's not about me anymore. It's about others because me, I know how to handle it. It's about others. How can you be able to use the opportunities, you know, to support others? Because if you check on the current, current world, especially here in Kenya, the unemployment rate is very high. And uh, just like any other university student outside there, after completing university, you are struggling outside there to look for a job. Just like you did. Yeah, like, like basically what I did. So I realized that if we can be able to create an awareness and provide a platform that people can use to learn Forex the right way, then definitely that is the best position to do it. So I started uh, by just teaching online. So I used to teach online. But uh, the demand went up, especially by November, December. So I ended up... Uh, mm. Fun. Okay. Many people struggle with getting jobs. Okay. Huh? So there's high high rate of unemployment in Kenya, and everybody can can be able to prove that. Mm -hmm. The number of students uh, who are graduate every single year in Kenya mm -hmm. is high compared to the to the to the available job so when you compare those in terms of of, of supply and demand mm -hmm. it's it's quite affecting most people so they ended up doing some abnormal kind of work outside there just to sustain their living you know mm -hmm. so i realized that by be able to give them a platform to learn forex the right way because either way you can you can you can uh, you'll be able to understand that many people are struggling they go to youtube they go to google mm -hmm. but they don't have a person who can be able to break it down for them in a systematic manner to know immediately after this you need to do this immediately after this you need to do to do this mm -hmm. so i realize what if we be able to provide that knowledge to them mm -hmm. well and now you open the bm forex hub but just to just to ask how many students have you been able to train so far who you can actually say that you know i've had this number of students and this number has given me a good number that i can say i have this number of success stories so personally for these entire two years uh, we've been able to have more than 800 students and in these 800 students you know there's always this basically more than 50 who are totally trading on a daily basis and they're going to be able to make even more than $100 mm -hmm. uh, consistently. Wow. But we are at an advent where there is the social media and many people are being told many things when it comes to Forex. Someone will tell you, ah, you don't need to go to classes. I have bots I'm selling. You understand? You don't need to go to classes. I have signals I'm, trade I'm selling. You don't need to go to classes. I can trade for you. Those three instances, how would you advise as someone who has knowledge and skill in the Forex industry? So knowledge is power. Yeah. Knowledge is power. As long as you understand these stuffs, like you have the general knowledge about Forex, yeah. you can be able to fight all these other stuffs. You know, like basically, it's something that I can be able to learn. Why would someone do it for me? You're getting that? Mm -hmm. And the other thing that people need to understand, once you have the knowledge with you, you can be able to see like this person, what he's saying is not true. 
because you already have the knowledge. There are some other people we have outside here who are really talking about Forex, but even you ask them what is Forex, they cannot be able to explain it to you. They just say they are trading, but purely they are not trading. So the only way we can be able to serve all these is have the knowledge. So knowledge is the foundation of everything. Yeah. So that you'll be able to know if you can be able to do it or or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There are different types of traders and uh, as a trader you would make money uh, being either a scalper, you know, being you know the different types of trading. For you when you started, what type of trader were you? Uh, personally, I've always been an intraday trader. Mm -hmm. So I just give you a description of the three. Mm -hmm. So uh, scalpers, these are purely traders who stay in the market within maybe a maximum of an hour. Mm -hmm. You know, they analyze market within period of one hour, they're out of trade maximum, yes. you see. But their target is always small, around 30 pips. That is what you call 30 points. Yeah. You understand? But an intraday trader is a person who can be able to analyze the market within a period of 24 hours. Now, 24 hours gives you a conducive environment to be able to see the trades clear and be able to participate in that market with an intention of making some some more amount of money yes mm -hmm. so for a beginner you should not start with scalping mm -hmm. because scalping requires a bigger capital mm -hmm. I can really say for you to be a successful scalper at least you need like twenty thousand dollars in your account wow. because you need to be trading with a lot size of uh, not less than two lot size because if market goes 30 pips meaning with two lot size you can be able to make six hundred dollars but a person have a hundred dollars market goes 30 pips this person has made only some three dollars you see so there's quite a difference with that and also it's very risky if market goes the opposite direction mm -hmm. so for a beginners for those who want to start forex start forex as an intraday trader mm -hmm. Because you have a smaller capital, but you are targeting a very long distance in the market. You can say your target is 100 pips. So even if you have an account of $100, you are trading with 0 0.01 lot size. If the market goes 100 pips, you have $10 profit. Yeah, And $10 when you convert is around $1,400. Yeah. So start as an intraday. Then you can choose now to go as a, as a swing trader. I'm interested to know, I mean... You as a as someone who was who, who began trading four years ago, how long did it take you as a trader now to make a, mu a million shillings purely from trading? Uh, now, what I can be able to say about that, you know, there are so many people who are used to this uh, notion of uh, if this person have made profit within a period of one year, personally, I have to work for a period of one year for me to start making profit. It's different. You're getting that. The effort you're putting in, maybe I was learning part-time, so it took me a longer time to compress all these tasks. But another person compress it and do it on a full-time basis. This person most likely is going to get results earlier. So it's the time that you involve or you participate in doing research and learning Forex will determine the earlier you start making profit. So personally, I made my first profit after eight months. Eight months. After eight months. Wow, very interesting. Now, uh, when it comes to, to Forex, many people, you know, uh, believe that you only need, the, as you said, you only need the skill. Once you get the skill, do you also need to be in a way that you're always analyzing the market or you just need the skill and you're good? To now, there's a problem. We are not supposed to be market zombies. Market zombies, these are people who stay on the chart from morning till evening. Mm -hmm. That's not the case. Mm -hmm. The case is you have to specify time and their sessions, like uh, trading sessions. You have to specify a time of trading. You're getting that? So your target is to make a specific profit, not to be in the market the whole time. Let's say my target is to make uh, $50. And I know during this time, market moves a little bit faster than this time. And also it depends on the currency you are trading. You're getting that? So maximum time somebody, somebody needs to spend on chat within a day is one and a half hours. One and a half hours. Yes. You're done with the, with, the, yes. with the analysis and everything. Yes. Because this analysis is most likely, because on weekend we always do backtesting mm -hmm. to confirm our strategy. Mm -hmm. So most likely on Sunday, somebody has already done all the possibilities of market move. And you have already checked on the news that maybe may approach within the week. Mm -hmm. So most likely I can be able to say what exactly may be happening on this specific time and this specific time using a bigger time frame like weekly time frame or daily time frame. You understand? Mm -hmm. So within the day, you're just coming to confirm your zones if the market has really touch the zone or retest the zone so that you can be able to go in. 
yeah you can you're not supposed to stay on the on the charts the whole day yeah you you have some other activities to do that's why most traders have extra time you know if you know how to use it yeah. and working on your plan yeah. yeah one of the things that made me really intrigued about forex was was my first interaction with forex i mean i would see people on tiktok on youtube with big screens you know like five six screens and i think I was not the only one, but many other people are normally scared when they see, you know, these many screens. Probably, are they as necessary as we see online, and uh, should they scare us? So those are just office layout. Mm -hmm. Just like you understand, there are different styles people love to make it, you know. Mm -hmm. Those are just, somebody will love to have different sc screen to show how serious the person is. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you, you even need uh, just the phone itself to just be a profitable trader because the chart is the same mm -hmm. what you're applying there is the skill mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so you should not be you should not be irritated with the number of screens people have mm -hmm. it's the knowledge that matters and what you're using like right now we have meta trader 5 mm -hmm. uh, a meta trader 5 is uh, an advance of meta trader 4 mm -hmm. so it's a platform that you use to place trades yeah. by just using a meta trader 5 you can be able to divide your screens into two Wow. And you can be doing some other activities on top and some other activities on, on bottom. Mm -hmm. So those laptops and big screens are just a top-up advantage. Mm -hmm. and, and, and maybe maybe they are, they are short-sighted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Tell us a little bit now about your classes, the classes that you offer. Uh, where in the country are you offering the classes? What time of the day? You know, and everything that we need to know about the BM Forex Hub classes. Okay. So we have, uh, we have different products that uh, we offer, apart from just uh, classes. We have different other products that we offer. Yeah. But let me talk about the educational packages. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, four types of uh, classes that, uh, that we offer. Mm -hmm. So one of them is known as what you call a physical class. Physical class is whereby you can be able to come directly to our offices and be able to participate in those classes physically, right? And for those ones, we have uh, classes in Nairobi, we have classes in Nakuru, and we have classes in Eldoret. Yes. Then we also have online classes. You know, we also have online classes. So online classes whereby uh, people can be able to attend to these classes online. Yes. And for us, we don't do recorded videos. We do what you call live videos on Zoom so that you can be able to learn and ask questions and participate just like those people in physical class. Then we have another type of class uh, known as what you call crash course. Mm -hmm. A crash course is a course whereby we compress everything within a period of one month. Wow. You understand that? Mm -hmm. Let mostly, most of the clients that you've been getting within this, this, this type of classes are uh, working class like those people working the government or different organizations. They say, you know what, BM, I can be able to, to ask for a leave for one month, mm -hmm. so I want to come and be able to compress for me this entire, this entire knowledge. You understand? Mm -hmm. So once they come, we only give them the introduction of the basics. Then we now focus for the entire month to, teach it, to teaching them SMC. Wow. So for this crash course, we base most on SMC only within a period of, of, of one month. Wow. Yes. Then another one, we have uh, part-time. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody can choose to attend classes evening. Some other time, if he cannot attend classes on evening physical, mm -hmm. he can attend online. Mm -hmm. So this person is flexible. Mm -hmm. Then these lessons, he can even go up to one year. It depends with your time frame. Wow. Yes. And uh, what other packages now, apart from the educational packages, are you offering as the BM Forex Hub? Now, there's, a, there's, always, there's always a market gap. We always identify in the market. And we have a solution as to why there are so many people who are really struggling, saying a company X has been able to take away their money. They have lost a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So you have basically provided a solution to all these mm -hmm. in form of what you call a copy trading. Mm -hmm. You know, copy trading is the future of Forex. Mm -hmm whereby people can be able to get the same results as those people who are successful in the forex industry mm -hmm. meaning you can be able to copy the results of other successful traders mm -hmm. just like you have been used to you were, you were in high school right some other times others used to do some some funny stuff and yeah. copy information yeah. from others and, and they end up getting almost the same results or end up passing so now copy trading gives you an opportunity regardless of which type of work you're having it doesn't require your time you can be able to copy trades from a successful trader mm -hmm. you're giving you're getting that mm -hmm. so most brokers have have their own uh, what you call copy trading mm -hmm. but ours it's a private remember this is a private institution mm -hmm. so we have a private uh, copy trade mm -hmm. private server mm -hmm. whereby it can be able to connect up to 10,000 accounts mm -hmm. to this uh, specific copier mm -hmm. now this is what happens let's say for example i have 
I place a trade on my account, this trade will automatically duplicate to all the accounts that has been integrated to the copy mm -hmm. with proper risk management. Yes. You're getting that? With proper risk. Let's say, for example, I've risked 2% of my account. Mm -hmm. It will check on your accounts. It's automated. Checks on your account and place this trade with the same 2% of your account. Mm -hmm. You're getting that? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's lesser risky because we only risk 2% on the issues of risk management. Mm -hmm. So if you're monitoring on your end and you find out that you have risked more than 2%, you definitely report to us, to our technical team, so that we can be able to sort it out. Mm -hmm. You understand that? Another, another protective uh, ways you can say, but we can say it's very safe, it's because we don't have access of your money. Mm -hmm. We are not in control of your money. Mm -hmm. You're getting that? Mm -hmm. You create your own account. We show you how to create an account. You fund the account. You remain with your passwords. What you are sending us is a MetaTrader 5 passwords. Mm -hmm. And in MetaTrader 5, there are two types of passwords people need to know. Mm -hmm. There's a master password whereby when you give someone, they can be able to log in and be able to participate in placing trades manually. Mm -hmm. But investor password, people can only view what is exactly happening on that, mm -hmm. on that account. Mm -hmm. So our copier place trades on investor password. Okay, okay. You're getting that? Mm -hmm. So when you're giving us your account, you are giving us only investor password. So we connect your account to our, our server as with an investor password. So it, pl it just plays trades automatic on your account. Mm -hmm. But to integrate this account, we charge you a fee. Mm -hmm. That is around $289. Sometimes we even give an offer of up to $150 mm -hmm. to integrate, but it's lifetime. Yeah. Then on these accounts, all the trades that we place within a period of one week, mm -hmm. you'll be paying us 30%. But you are not the one deducting the money. You have to pay us. You know, in, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because you don't have the access to your money. Yes, you have made profit in that account, but you don't have access to that account. Mm -hmm. So what do we do? Every Saturday, we send you an invoice mm -hmm. that you're supposed to pay us a, spe a specific amount of money, which is 30% of the total profits we make in that specific mm -hmm. account. So that is what you have to pay us. Mm -hmm. And now it's a win-win situation. You have to pay us the 30%, or we deactivate the account for the following week. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah, yeah. But now, since it has a written agreement, mm -hmm. everybody has to abide to the mm -hmm. written agreement. This is so everything is safe. Yeah. yeah. This is very interesting. But I, th I think one question that has really just popped up on my mind is, uh, as a trader, there are good days and there are bad days. But the more skilled you are, the less the bad days are. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, I want to know. When you are a beginner trader and when you are still learning about Forex beco be 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 before you became a master or a guru trader, what was the biggest loss that you've ever made in the market? Uh, personally, there's a time I made uh, a loss of $25,000. Wow. And the reason was, you know, sometimes you can be in the market. You say, ah, I, I'm, 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 I'm viewing this chart, so I'm just here. Mm -hmm. So sometimes there's no need you say, okay, ah. I'm just here for some short, some short time, so I pick my profits, then I'll be able to, uh, to go my other, to do other activities, you know. Now the problem was, there was news that was coming in. I didn't notify it early, you know. And news, most of the time, that's what we call fundamental analysis. It spiked the opposite direction over 60 pips. Wow. I ended up uh, losing that specific account, all the amount of money. Oh, you blew up the account. Yeah, I blew all the account. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talking of blowing up accounts, because it's something that many beginner uh, traders do, uh, because maybe they lack the knowledge. I want to know, what are some of the things uh, that beginner traders should just watch out for when they're starting, as the mistakes that most of them make? So one of them is uh, going to the market without knowledge. Yeah. Because look at this, you first of all, before you try something, you need to understand how it goes. So knowledge comes first. So if you choose to go to the market without knowledge, saying, oh, person A is going to give me entries, or what you call uh, signals, mm -hmm. first of all, this signal, yes, they are going to give you. But do you know how to use proper risk management on this specific account you're having? Because what you always do, let's say, for example, I have an account of $200. Mm -hmm. I have to know which risk I'm supposed to involve on this account. Am I going to risk 2%? First of all, before even risking that 2%, the person who gave you the entry, he gave you which maximum risk. Because when you're giving somebody an entry, you always tell them, risk a maximum of 3%. So most beginners don't know how to apply risk management. They don't know how to control their psychology. They think this is just a quick-rich scheme. You may end up losing a lot of money. 
So first of all, work on yourself, work on the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Know the currency you are trading. Be familiar with the currency you are trading. Mm -hmm. Yeah, If it's volatile or less volatile. Mm -hmm. Yes, understand the news that are involved during that time when you are trading. Because news most of the time affects most, uh, destroys most of the account. So understand that as well. Yes, when you're talking about uh, proper risk also, we also talk about broker. Which broker are you using? What are their spreads? You're getting that? Because they also at some point affect trades. Yeah, so once you understand about that, Keep on practicing first on a demonstration account. Mm -hmm. Demonstration account is just virtual money. Mm -hmm. So keep on practicing on a demonstration account with the support of a mentorship program or somebody who is guiding you. Then definitely at that point, you'll start picking the momentum as time goes by. Amazing. Uh, now pick a story in uh, BM Forex, CEO and founder BM's uh, BM Forex Hub. And of course, before we continue, I want you guys to see some of the... Uh, words from the students who've been able to successfully you know enroll on bm for example hello guys my name is juliet akotho juando and i'm a student in bm for example i'm in level two and so far i have learned a lot of skills in bm for example fundamental analysis technical analysis where we have the reversal patterns and continuation patterns and being in for in bm for example as is actually going to change my life I've started my journey of becoming financial, financially independent. Hello guys, I'm Nicodemus Sanyango. I'm an interior design by profession, but I also do Forex part-time. We met in BM, actually BM is my client. I did interior design for his office and the school in Nakuru. Later on, later on, I decided to learn Forex. And first, let me prove to you, Forex is not a scam. It's a real thing. If you want extra money, try Forex. So far, Forex has changed my life, how I perceive things, in terms of patience, how I see things. It has made me believe in myself. As, as in, it has changed a lot, a lot of things in my life. Forex is real. You just have to have co nini, learn the skill first, the money will come later. That's all. Hello, people. My name is Fela Entertainer. I'm a social media influencer. Uh, I run a podcast called The Truth Hub. I came across BM Forex Hub through uh, an online post, and uh, I decided to give it a try. And let me tell you, since uh, at that day, my life was. Uh, 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 has been transforming and transforming. Uh, I'm currently uh, a grade uh, a grade two student, and uh, it's going on well. Everything is good. Forex not has come. I'm welcoming everyone that is that's want to join BM Forex Hub. We're located at Shoppers Paradise in Nakuru, in Nairobi, HH Towers, and uh, in Eldoret. Uh, uh, what was Zion Mall? Thank you, and you're all welcome. Hello, guys. Nani Mavazi here. At BM Forex Hub, I've learned uh, the art of trading, of course. Besides the art of trading, I've also learned emotional control. I've learned to multitask, fashion and design, and also trading. And now, being in Forex, my financial journey, it has helped me a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. I can say. Come, join us, let's learn together and work out things together. Welcome. Thank you very much. Those are some of the uh, success stories that you guys have heard from the students. Like in Tunendelea and a conversation, of course, this is amazing. How do you feel when you see that students can say that you've actively been able to change or impact their lives positively? Uh, you know, all of us, we are fighting poverty. And once you help a specific person, you just need to understand you have helped an entire community. Because different people have different responsibilities. And once person A has been able to benefit from such a program, they are basically going to help their family. So it's about who have you helped 
and to which extent are they going to help others? Like, let's say, for example, those students, they are, they are capable of making, let's say, even $50 a day. These $50, they are not going to use it on their own. Others have family. So they are going to help their family. They are going to sustain their living, you know. So when I see people making profit with the same, same knowledge I taught them, I feel like it's the right decision to take. Because it will reach a point in life, it's not, it's not all about how much money you made. It's about how many lives did you transform. Yeah. Talk to someone who is interested in joining the Forex Hub team. You know, as a student, of course, in different parts of the country, you said Nairobi, you said Eldoret, you said Nakuru. Yeah. So talk to anyone who's watching and they would be also interested in probably the, the you know, Zoom classes. Just talk to them and tell them all the details they'll need. So personally, what I can be able to say about this is, uh, first of all, we need to understand that uh, Forex trading is not a quick reach scheme. Don't think you'll come in here and start making money immediately. It's a progress and it also needs your effort and extra time to be able to understand the general concept, right? So what you need to do is the best thing you can do this year is make sure you create time to learn about Forex on different means. Get time to learn about Forex. And uh, we are here as BM Forex Hub. We are here to provide you with all the necessities uh, in terms of physical classes and all the other classes that we've been able to talk to you. So if you want to, to enroll for physical classes, we only charge 50000 But you can be able to pay in installment because you see the level of our fingers is not the same. So there's somebody else who can pay in full. Somebody else cannot be able to pay in full. So we also allow pay in installment, but up to a maximum of two months, you need to have cleared the entire balance. That is for uh, for physical class. Then for online class, we only charge 30000 but you can also still pay in installment. Mentioning something on installment, the first deposit should always be a half. Then the balance you can pay within a grace period of two months. Yeah, yeah that is on the classes. Crash course is $1,000. But that one you pay in full because you only be here with you for a period of one month. Then on copy trading, right now copy, our copier to integrate the copier is two eighty nine dollars, but it's lifetime. Yeah. So, but you can do up to a maximum of uh, an offer of up to one fifty, one fifty dollars. Yeah. Wow. Uh, probably there is a number uh, that you can share and also uh, your your social media. Yes, we are. If you can go directly to our website, that is bmforexup.com. There's so many things you can be able to see there. There's a WhatsApp icon. There's uh, enrollment. You can be able to enroll from there. If you scroll that website on the lower end, you can be able to see our Instagram account, our Telegram account, our TikTok account. So everything that you need to know about BM Forex Hub is basically available on our on our website. That is bmforexhub.com. But you can also call us or, or WhatsApp us on uh, 07 80 618 608. Wow. Amazing sana. Uh, link ya uh, iyo number pia iko kwenye comment section. I've actually pinned it. You can also see the website right on your screen. So I hope you guys have learned so much. I hope you guys are, have got the insights of what it takes to be a guru or a master forex trader. But before we go, I have one last question for you. I asked you this question on a certain event and uh, the way you answered it, the way you put out the answer, you know, really inspired me. What is the biggest trading uh, what is the biggest trading advice you would give anyone who wants to join the club? That uh, forex is the future. Forex is the future. And make sure you benefit from it as early as possible. And knowledge is power. So this knowledge, you can be able to transfer it to your next generation, your kids and your grandchildren. Yeah. So be part and parcel of the wave that you are going to revolutionize uh, the methods of making money on these streets. Yeah. Amazing, son. I mean, I draw presenter Ali. Your entertainment PAA is always for amazing. We're going to give you a story in a CEO and founder BM Forex Hub. Of course, behind the camera, I'm Tulia, none other than Frank, the director. All the details are on the app pinned on the comment section. Make sure you call them and make sure you also tell BM that umetumwa na presenter Ali utaku menipa support ya kutosha. Siku zote ukitaka kufanikiwa, uspende kusifiwa. I'll see you guys in the next video.